Hey there, welcome back to this playlist on Tosca 2024. So we have been talking about all the latest features introduced uh, in the latest versions of Tosca. And now we are focusing on other functionalities which have been updated or uh, which are new in 2024.2 release. So uh, let's move on to our next uh, topic. And uh, this is about the data types. Now we know all the data types uh, which currently exist uh, in Tosca and some of them are string, date, uh, numeric, boolean, or password. So these are the basic ones which we always use. But then uh, now Tosca has introduced a new data type, uh, which is called the raw string data type. Now what it does uh, is uh, it tells Tosca to not parse or interpret the value which you are entering uh, using this particular data type. So we now no longer need to uh, escape any special characters which we use uh, in our data types, uh, which could be a string, right? So using this data type, we can enter uh, any special characters uh, into our values and then Tosca can just enter it as it is without uh, escaping any other characters, okay? So let's go ahead and see how we can use them. And then uh, let's look at a real uh, example where we can use this particular data type. So let's go ahead and open our workspace. And then I will go into our test cases folder and uh, into our folder where we'll create a new test case. And I will call this a uh, raw string, okay? And uh, in this, uh, we are going to use a particular example, okay? And this is from uh, the obstacles website. Uh, now, this is the obstacle where we have to enter this uh, text which uses the special characters which is uh, the uh, brackets which follows the click right now if we try and enter this uh, as it is using um, the string data type then uh, tosca will assume it is the click method right because this is the click expression which we use to click on any particular element but if you have to enter this into a text box as it is then either we escape the characters or we use this new data type okay so we are going to look at the new method which is to use uh, the raw string data type so let's go ahead um, and try and do this we'll come back here and uh, here i have already scanned this particular module it's it's pretty simple uh, just scan that particular text box where we want to enter that particular value okay so uh, this is called the result text uh, text box which i have already scanned now coming back to our test case i will use this particular module so i will drag and drop it now here uh, we need to enter um, the text which is called the click okay so if i go ahead and uh, enter this okay you will see uh, if you enter uh, the expression as it is then it becomes the click method right so you cannot directly use it now um, if i want to do it uh, in a different way then i can say um, or i can use this option which is escape value right now if i use escape value then uh, it will work with the data type string because then uh, it will escape this special characters and then it will enter this uh, into the text field okay but uh, as i said there is a different way to do this so what we will do uh, we will not escape the characters here but we will change the data type from string to raw string now do keep in mind that this is only available with the latest version of tosca which is 24.2 and above now if you're trying to find it in the older versions you will not get it okay so uh, we will choose the data type as raw string and then you will see that uh, Tosca now doesn't consider this as the click method it considered this as a raw string okay so now if I go ahead and mark this as completed okay and then we try and run this okay so you will see that uh, it entered the text and then uh, the obstacle was completed without any issues right so both the ways uh, it is possible you can either escape the characters uh, if you are using an older version of tosca 
but if you're using the latest version then make use of this uh, new data type which is called the raw string now this was just one simple example of where you can use this particular data type but there could be multiple situations uh, where this particular data type could be used now uh, there are some modules okay so if we go ahead and close this and uh, we add some more modules here uh, especially like the t box send keys okay so here you will see that uh, this module has been updated in the latest version of tosca so you know that we can enter um, some keys here using this particular method so the change here is uh, in this keys module attribute now you will see by default the data type is raw string okay now it is the same for uh, entering the host keys host send keys and you will see that uh, the keys is mentioned as raw string now the reason uh, is because in the keys we can enter uh, special characters uh, which could be from our keyboard right it could be uh, different keys which we want to execute from the keyboard and that includes special characters and that's why they have now changed uh, this particular attributes to raw string there are other um, modules like evaluate xpath uh, as well so this uh, also has been now changed to uh, the raw string so the xpath expression uh, it has been changed to raw string okay so these are the three different modules where you will see the module attribute data type is now changed from string to raw string so uh, this is the new uh, data type raw string which has been uh, introduced in the latest version of tosca and uh, this is one of the use cases where you can use it to enter some expressions which includes special characters also uh, there are some changes in different modules where the data type is now changed to raw string that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video